Green's theorem is one of the big four theorems that we're learning this semester. The first one was the fundamental theorem of line integrals. Green's is number two, and later on we're going to see the divergence theorem and Stokes' theorem. So here's what Green's theorem says. It says, suppose that R is a simply connected region, and C is its boundary curve oriented counterclockwise. So first of all, let me make sure that everyone understands what I mean by simply connected. What that means is that there are no holes in the region. So in this picture, this is a region with no holes in it. If I were to cut some holes in it like that so that R were the part in between, excluding those holes, that would not be considered simply connected. So we're assuming that R is simply connected, that there are no holes in it. And we're also assuming that C is its boundary curve, and that C is oriented counterclockwise around R. If that's the case, then the integral over C of m dx plus m dy is equal to the derivative of m with respect to x minus the derivative of m with respect to y dA. So this integral over the boundary is equal to this integral over the region R. So a single integral equals a double integral. Now let me give you some comments on this. First of all, in order for this to be true, um, m and n must have continuous first derivatives. in some region containing R. A second comment is that even though R cannot have holes, Green's theorem can be uh, adapted for that situation. And I'll, I will explain how to do that in a future video. A third comment I'm just going to draw in here. When we integrate around a closed curve in a counterclockwise direction, you'll sometimes see a symbol like this on the integral sign. So you may have seen this in physics class. Sometimes you'll see it with just a circle here without the arrow. But this symbol simply means that you're going around the curve C in the counterclockwise direction. It's around a closed curve counterclockwise. So occasionally you'll see Green's theorem written this way. And a third comment is if we define the vector field f to be m comma n, then another way of writing the left-hand side of this equation is the integral around c of f dot little vector ds. So we've seen this symbol, and we know that this is completely equivalent to this. So this is another statement of Green's theorem. So sometimes when we do examples of Green's theorem, we'll use the n dx plus n dy notation. Other times we'll use the equivalent f dot ds notation.